home stretch now. Chapter 35, Voodoo on Jew. Author's note. I took the idea of the voodoo dolls from the Fairly Odd Parents episode, Yudu Dolls, but giving it a darker twist. I'm also using another Zhu 2 monster, namely Pumpkin Rapper, as Dora Curse, which he will be taken to a darker twist on the plot that uses children to kill the Super Sentai after Radigat's fleshy and worms plot failed. Plus, you could actually grow his malice to another direction and make him do more bloody insane stuff. I also had to figure out how to fit this in the first line up of Power Rangers to the Zhu Ranger era. This will be a two-parter of a dilemma. Sorry for the long delay. Please no more prodding me to rush things up. I appreciate a few who like this fit, but as I said, I have my life to live and blogging is where I'm more passionate at the moment. As Prince Pan said, you can't rush perfection. And this fix suffered from deterioration thanks to me rush writing, but I thank all those who made this story their favorite, but only if you can co-write with me. I would gladly appreciate it, as this is something I put this as least of my priorities, so sorry for quality deterioration. My apologies. At the same time, I am trying several different types of approaches in unfolding events. Plus, there are other teams that won't appear at all due to the fact that this is becoming uncontrollable. Plus, I'm having nerve wrecks as evidenced by the bad writing that happens. It was quite some time after the incident that Radigate had plagued Japan. Everybody seemed recovering from the horrifying incident, including those who got crucified. Now it was time for Guy Ikurai to take back what he said about them being fakes. He was now tasked to orient the original lineup of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers to know much about the Super Sentai as makeup for his actions for accidentally badmouthing the Power Rangers as fakes, rather than ship him unfairly to the detention center. Well, Guy, you will need to orient the rest of the Power Rangers since you were tasked with the Super Sentai Encyclopedia by Akiret himself, and you literally have its power. I would also like to apologize for threatening you with the detention center, for being shocked at the existence of the Power Rangers. Just do your job with the Mighty Morphin team. They'll need more help as this conflict is getting sky high, said Deputy Commander Guy in a flashback on Guy Ikurai's head, while Guy Yuki foresaw he would eventually die a second time during their battles and never return. Uh, Guy? Earth to Guy Ikurai, said Jason. Ah, that. So you see your counterparts are the Kyoryu Sentai Zhu Ranger. So here are your counterparts. Geki, Prince of Yamato. Goshi, Knight of Sharama. Dan, Knight of Ifo. Boy, Knight of Daimin. Mei, Princess of Rinchia. Barai, Geki's brother, said Guy Ikurai. And of course you will be acquainted with the Guardian Beasts. Guy, don't you think you're getting too detailed, said Zack. What's there to know much about the Zhu Rangers? Zack, this guy knows about this world of Super Sentai we are so ignorant about. We need a lot of information we can get. Besides, this Zordon we might meet might be different from the Zordon we know. He was trusted with the gift of the Super Sentai Encyclopedia, which Director Aya, for some reason, neither of us could open now before he's opened the book I wanted to read so badly, said Billy. As you see, some of them are radically different than you based on my experience with Trini. She's more like Mika. Oh, fucking hell, are you still on about this? Here's some notes I made. And of course, let's skip to the Zhu Ranger's arch enemy. As Guy Ikurai revealed the pictures, the MMPR team saw familiar, but not their old enemies. Wait, isn't that Rita Repulsa? asked Trini as she referenced the picture of Bandora. And that's Goldar, Scorpina, Squat, Babu. I doubt it she is, said Billy. Whoever it is, I have a bad feeling she's going to be worse. Oh, fuck. She is Witch Bandora, queen of the Dial tribe, who sold her soul to the forces of darkness and nearly destroyed the Earth. And that action created Dino Earth, where the Abba Rangers got their power, said Guy Ikarai, as he then presented more pictures. Goldar? Scarpina? asked Zack. I don't know who you are talking about, but these are definitely new sets of foes, said Guy Ikarai. I think we can't sit another moment. Guy Ikarai is probably going to bore us with too much talk about the Super Sentai universe, said Trini, sighing, wishing she was out there in the field taking pictures of what her world could look like five or six years in the future, but she had missed her world terribly. Trini felt bored. She wanted to catch the latest scoop of the further development of environmentally friendly technology in the world of Super Sentai. But she had her duties beyond her cameraman job. She just can't abandon her post. But why were we chosen to be Power Rangers, asked Trini to herself. What? Ah! Zoran explained why! It was time for the Zhu Ranger era. The Kyoryu Sentai Zhu Ranger looks like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but they were not them. They were the first to come before them, but both existed in different worlds. What they didn't know was that the United Alliance of Evil had already begun another of its dastardly schemes to destroy the Super Sentai and Power Rangers by tampering past eras. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers team was already deployed. I'm so excited to meet our new counterparts, said Zack, doing his trademark breakmark dance. 
Don't get too excited, guys. We could be facing an enemy far deadlier than... Oh, fuck you, said Jason. Meanwhile, Tommy was only thinking of his vision of Barai's up-and-coming death. He knows that Barai will die a certain time. He has also received a vision that Guy Yuki will die a second time. This time, he will never return, and so will Mikoto. Man, this is heavy, so Guy Yuki is a dead man walking... How will I tell his wife and son he's going to die again, said Tommy. And he also remembered the powers of the Green Ranger, returned, and finally died. Trini, on the other hand, taking some pictures of Japan that she wanted so badly before, but she had no chance. Too bad this world and our world always get ravaged by those unfair haters, said Trini, as she took pictures of the scenery. The Zhu Rangers are known as Geki, the Prince of Yamto, Goshi, the Knight of Sharama, Dan, the Knight of Itfu, Boy, the Warrior of Daman, and Mei, the Princess of Rishian. Not with them was Barai, for he had to stay in the timeless room lest he die, for he had only hours to live, a burden Tommy thought was too great to bear. Trini got excited when it was time to finally meet them. Guys, it's the Zhu Rangers. We quickly must make contact, said Trini. I know, said Jason. But before they could make contact, suddenly golems appeared. Putties, said Kimberly. Not putties. Golems, said May. Whatever, said Trini. Did her kung fu pose. Let's fight. Man, that girl's wild, said Boy, referring to Trini. To make matters worse, it was time for Grifforther, Lamy, Bubak, and Tobat to appear. But they were not the enemies of the MMPR, but the Zhu Rangers. Beware, guys. They're not the usual enemies we know. I will feel this golden monkey here is a better fighter than Golda. Fuck! said Jason. We don't know who you strangers are, but you are in our territory, said Lamy. Wait, this version of Golda doesn't talk too much, said Tommy. No time for chatting, said Geki, to the Zhu Rangers. <laughs> A man who looked like Yuma from Change Man, but it wasn't Yuma, appeared. He was Barai, the sixth ranger. He felt a disturbance. Wait, what's this I feel? Is it? said Barai, who remembered the visions he saw of Tommy. Now he felt Tommy was in his world, and he saw the candle regain some wax. Clotho appeared. Barai, I know this fate will allow you to live longer, but only when Tommy, your MMPR counterpart, is here. But when he is gone, you will return to your dying state. Use the time you can spend outside wisely, said Clotho. I understand, said Barai. Now, to help you guys fight with all my might. Brother, said Geki. The Zhu Rangers then met Barai. There was no time to explain. Barai, you're here, said Geki. I sense your peril, said Barai. Again! Explosions appeared from behind, an intense feeling, but it left the Zhu Rangers baffled, for they had no idea of the existence of heroes who looked like them were different from them. What? There's another group of Zhu Rangers? How can this be? said Grifforther. This is scary. Do Zhu Ranger teams? said Tobat and Bubak, hugging each other. No matter, let's deal with them, said Lamy. I don't think the other version of Bri will be that. Ugh, oh, fuck. Stop! Just stop! Those two aren't any different, said Yellow Ranger 1. Golems began to appear, and the Zhu Rangers and MMPR team began to fight them. Green Ranger and Dragon Ranger were beating the Golems together with ease with their martial arts moves. Dragon Ranger and Green Ranger fought side by side. You're not pretty bad yourself, said Dragon Ranger, who finished the statement after he punched a gang of Golems. Well, I'm a martial artist after all, said Green Ranger 1. Yellow Ranger 1 and Tiger Ranger were showing their moves. They were fighting against Tobak and Bubak. Oh, this is scary too, Tiger Rangers, said Tobat. Let me aim my pistol, said Bubak, but he had to bad aim. Yellow Ranger action shooting! Yellow Ranger 1 did her trademark fast action, coupled by her kung fu. Tiger Ranger was pretty amazed at her badass move. That was fantastic, said Tiger Ranger, as he used his tiger-like fighting. Both of them kicked the asses of Bubak and Tobat. Red Ranger 1 was having a hard time against Griffother and Pink Ranger against Lammy. You may have Geki's suit, but not his ability, said Grifforther. This isn't an easy fight, said Red Ranger, as Grifforther outmatched him, but he was doing his best. Definitely, but he was slashed. I've got to help him, said Tyranno Ranger, as he fired his Ranger gun at Grifforther and did a laser beam arrow at Grifforther. Thanks, said Red Ranger 1. Pink Ranger 1 was trying to keep up against Lammy, but she was losing her edge. Fortunately, Terror Ranger came to fire an arrow at Lammy's shoulders. Ouch, said Lammy, that hurts. Dear, are you alright? asked Grifforther. Dear, said the MMPR team in all in confusion. 
Let's retreat first, said Griff Forther, holding his darling wife, Lamy. The Zhu Rangers and the MMPR team had established contact. They were trying to get to know each other, but at the same time, the Zhu Rangers were confused at the existence of imposter- Fuck! Clotho said you people would come, said Barai. Then why didn't you tell us, Barai? asked Geki. I could not trust my vision that well. But to be honest, I never thought this was real, said Barai. These aren't mere dreams, said Tommy. Meanwhile, Trini was starting to get freaked out that her Zhu Ranger counterpart was a man as she was meeting him for the first time. What's the matter, Trini? asked Boy. No, nothing, said Trini, but she still could not believe that her counterpart was a man, though she had seen him in her visions. Now it was time for a familiar location to MMPR fans, except this was not the same fortress that Rita Repulsa was in. This was the Bandra Palace, where Bandora resided with her minions in the quest to conquer Earth. She looked like Rita Repulsa, but she was not her. Lottie, what's the matter? said Bandora. She was shot by May, said Griff Forther. Forgive me, my empress. We did not realize there was another group of Zhu Rangers. More like imposters who are their friends, said Lammy. They were so terrifying, said Bubak. Not only if you learn to aim that pistol of yours properly, said Tobot. Silence! This is a crisis we must handle! How in the world can Barza get another group of Zhu Rangers? Much less give the powers to a group of teenagers with attitude, said Bandora. But, but... Calm down, my empress. I have done some research, and it looks like those teenagers that we ran into are not having the same energy as the Zoo Rangers. But it's not the first time that teenagers with attitude became heroes. Think of the Turbo Rangers whom we met, said Prince Ban.